for those of you that don't know me, I am running for Congress in the 1st Congressional District against Lacey Clay. Yay. Yes. <laughs> um, it's been very interesting, and I'm learning a whole lot about campaigns. And you know the Constitution. Yes, I do. I do know the Constitution, and I do give it away all the time. Um, in fact, I taught a class the other day at a high school in McClure South. I got to go there for, we, Lacey Clay and I had a debate. Very interesting. <laughs> Uh, I had to call him on a few things. And I gave away constitutions, and I explained to those kids what political parties are, and that the Republican Party and the Democrat Party today are not the Republican and Democrat Party of 40 years ago. Those party platforms change every four years, and they should learn to read them and decide who to align themselves with, and that they also have other candidates besides the Republicans and Democrats. You know, I, I did it very fairly. I was nonpartisan, and Told them about every, you know, the Libertarian Party, the Constitution Party, the Republican Party, the Democrat Party. And so it went really, really well. And they also learned about fractional reserve banking, <laughs> which is <laughs> fractional reserve banking, which is a product of our wonderful Federal Reserve System. The Federal Reserve is no more federal than Federal Express. Explain what fractional reserve banking is. Yeah. Because the majority of people don't really understand. Okay. I've never heard of it before. Okay. When, all right, can I make a couple of you a bank? I'm going to make you bank one. You can be bank two and you can be bank three. <coughs> and you got customer one and customer two and you can be customer three. You, ha you want to get, you have $100 in your bank. You're the only one that's got any money. You got $100. <laughs> customer one comes to you to get a loan and you can loan out by law 90% of the money in your bank. So you can give customer one a loan for a word. Um, yeah, $90. So you get a check for $90. And you take your check and you say, okay, I'm going to deposit it in the bank so I can go buy some things. So you deposit it into bank number two. Now he has $90 in his bank, or so he thinks. He can loan 90% of that out. So you go and you want a loan, you go to him and you can borrow, the most he can loan you is $81. He gives you a check for $81. You take it and you put it in her bank. Her books now say she has $181. She doesn't have $181, but because of the rules, she has $181 now, so she can loan out up to 90% of that. She already loaned her $100. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. But the rules say that she can loan out 90% of what the balance is on her books. Her but balance, when she loans that to him, doesn't <coughs> Common sense. That's what it tells doesn't us. Doesn't that $100 that she had now become zero? No. no.